Dean, can you talk us through today, please? Obviously, forced half, just not acceptable. Um, shocking performance, really, and we were murdered. Uh, the crazy thing is, the forced, like, sort of 15 minutes, it was a tight enough game, and then when they did score, we had two great chances. And their goalies made an unbelievable save from Ryan de Havilland. And then we just capitulate, really, mentally. Um, never had a half time team talk like that before. Um, and I suppose that they'd be right to have a goal with us. And then second half, we showed a bit of pride, a bit of courage. Um, but all too late, really. Um, so, yeah, look, it's a tough, tough day, really. Really tough day. Did you feel like we uh, perhaps gave them a bit too much time and a bit too much respect in, in, the, uh, in the first half? Just not good enough. It's not tight enough. Not sticking to the game plan. Going away from what we walked on yesterday. Um, I know we're a bit leggy from Tuesday night. I get that and respect that. Um, like I say, we should stick to the game plan. Then the ill discipline course a second. We get back to 5 3, which was brilliant from the lads, like superb from the boys. And then on midfield, just that leaving midfield, the game opens up, we turn over the balls too much. And to be fair to Macker, he made a good sub putting Walker on. And that's the strength and depth they have at Dagenham. You know, you've got a goalie today. What performance he had. He made some unbelievable saves. He made one from, from Wes at 5 3, but Wes should go back. To Pauli, Pauli said, and he should go back and tap her in. Wrong decision. That makes a five-four. Um, and then we pro- got a proper game. And then we just lose that discipline. It's, it's just so frustrating. <coughs> we're just we're very naive. Not got enough leaders. Not enough senior players. Um, and this is what happens. You go to Wrexham, you lose six. All the decent sides, you lose heavy because of, we're naive and our performance. I said one 0 down. It was a it was a toy game. Not a lot in the game, and then. To be fair to the lad Marius, every time he shot, he scored. What would he say to the lads at the break? Because we saw quite a response from them. I know, just, I've never been in that position before, I'll be honest with you. I, just, I didn't scream and shout, there's no point in doing that. Just told them some home truths. There was a few words from them to understand, but I said to them, if you're going to talk the talk in here, you've got to walk the walk out there. You've got to show courage, a bit of bravery. And they did that for 25 minutes. And then, like I said, we lost the discipline. Wrong decision making, and it cost us. But what I would say is, Mac, I made a great sub in bringing the lad Walker on, and pace runs the channels, and he, he made them dangerous again. So um, that's the levels we have to get to, the level of squad we've got to put together. Um, and we like say we've got a lick of wounds, we've got a lot of wounds after uh, the last three league games, and uh, we'll move on to Monday. I told you why we didn't get to 5 4. We lost our discipline in midfield. Lost our. You know, a shape, start running. Where's his running on, going crazy? Then Ryan the Havilland's just running up and down. Just keep your distance, keep your shape. We get to, the gaps get too big. They make a great sub. And we're, we're murdered again. So we showed a bit of respect. Um, I made it respectable. And then we just killed ourselves. So we shot ourselves in the foot. What, what, are you, what will you be looking to change for, uh, for, from the team and the squad for, uh, for this, Monday? They ask me this all the time, Howard. It's the same question. Look, what can I do? Tory's out. He's meant to be our leader. He's out. Yeah, Young Woods is out long term with an ankle injury. Flanagan's been out since February. What do you want me to do? I can't have create the players. You know, it's frustrating. I'm frustrated. Our supporters are frustrated. Strength and depth in our squad's not good enough. Um, and that's why we're 18th in the division. And you know, that's why Dagenham are pushing on to the playoffs. They go and invest. They buy the kid from Scunthorpe. They bring Walker off the bench. That's what it takes. The goalie makes saves. And you have to, men, they're men. We're, we're kids and we're kidding ourselves we're miles behind even though we're ahead for the summer we're miles behind so that's that's the reality of where we are at this football club and um, whether I'm in charge or someone else is in charge it needs root and branch and a football club know that so our owner knows that because um, he's been promoted out of this division and uh, he knows what it takes so that's as simple as that at the end of the day, a performance from me today as a manager, not good enough. Nowhere near it. Performance from the players, not good enough. Um, and that can't paper over the cracks. Their performance, their, their manager will be going crazy because they were 5-0 up and should have kicked on and went more. Um, but not good enough in both boxes. Not manly enough. And um, to be fair to to be fair to Dagenham, like I say, they gave us the knockout punch in the last few minutes of the game. So. Massive credit to the Barnet fans who came out to support last day. What's your message to them? Yeah, I know they're angry, I know they're frustrated. I heard them, you know, 
it's very hard for me. They're asking me to explain what's going on. It's very hard for me to do that. I can only explain through here. Um, I'm frustrated for them. They're a good bunch of people, you know what I mean? They've come down, they've give, they gave their all, they were right behind us at the start of the game. And uh, they've been let down, really. You know, it's, it's, at the end of the day, it's for, I'm trying to create it together, and it's a collectiveness. It's hard. Today's a really hard day. Like I said, I've never been in that position at half time ever. And uh, it was, that was tough. That was really, really tough because you ask yourself questions. You know, because you know, I'm not going to blame other people. I ask myself, where have I gone wrong? Why, why are we in this position? And uh, the only way we can get better is by sticking together. Um, the plan I've created has been put in place, uh, sort of like early March. Um, and yeah, and I say it's just it's hard. It's just a tough day. Well, obviously, we've got South End on Monday, and it will provide a, a good opportunity to, for us to, to bounce back and and uh, ho- hopefully put um, yeah. on a good show for our we fans. We have to bounce back. As simple as that. We can only you know move on to the next game. We'll be in tomorrow. Then we recovery. We'll walk again on Sunday, and then we'll prepare for Monday. So we need to make sure we bounce back. We have to. We have to show character, um, show commitment. Uh, we can't have we look, can't have these Jekyll and Hyde performances which we've seen all season really. Um, brilliant against Torquay at home, brilliant against Boreham at home. You know, don't believe enough against Solly Hull at home. We should believe a bit more. Um, and then we just we've got to make sure today it's not acceptable today. You know, it's not going to paper over the cracks. I've, I know where the football clubs are. I know who's who and what's what. Um, just because we come back on the five now the five three, I know I know. Where what needs to be improved so um, yeah just like thank our support it's frustrating for them it's frustrating any support at the end of the day there's 23 teams in this division and the teams that invested the most are the ones at the top apart from Halifax who've done unbelievable by the way uh, they haven't invested like anyone else has and uh, that's how the business works I'm afraid um, so yeah so we need to uh, dust ourselves down and uh, try to stick together as much as we can even though it's hard because everyone's frustrated everyone's angry everyone wants to say and uh, we've we got to make sure that we run our socks off again on Monday, like we did for the 25, 40 minutes in the second half. That's the standard we've got to keep there. We've got to be consistent with that. It's difficult for our players. Because a lot of players are consistently injured, been out too long. A recovery process at a football club's not good enough. It's, it's nowhere near good enough. Um, you know, um, and that needs, that needs to improve. I've said this before to you, that needs to improve because um, we t- players are just out too long. It's as simple as that, you know. I look at the opposition bench. You look at their bench, strength and depth in it. So that's what it takes to have success in this division.